Meghan Markle stunned in a regal white dress as she stepped out of an aeroplane in Fiji with Prince Harry on the ninth day of their landmark 16-day tour of Oceania. The American donned a 456-pound dress with long sleeves and a crew neckline by Zimmerman, along with a matching hat by Stephen Jones. She also wore the earrings given to her from Her Majesty the Queen and a bracelet from the Prince of Wales. The Duchess of Sussex is about to begin her royal visit to Fiji alongside her husband, which will last three days. The couple travelled from Fraser Island where Prince Harry undertook his engagements alone yesterday while Meghan was resting. She spent the day in a luxury, award-winning resort, which boasted secluded beaches and a spa. Their first major joint overseas tour comes only a week after they announced they are expecting their first child and it has been reported the pregnancy combined with royal duties has taken its toll on the Duchess. A royal source said, she wants to do everything, but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. However, the mother-to-be is expected to return to a full schedule today and attend all the engagements. The couple will be greeted with an official welcome ceremony in the city center's Albert Park, known as Virkakavi Vakanua. It will involve several elements from the Fijian culture, including dance performances, the presentation of taboo and a kava ceremony. In 1953, Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh received the same ceremony when they arrived in Fiji, as part of Her Majesty's first Commonwealth tour as Queen. Around 15,000 locals are expected to attend the traditional welcome, but while everyone will be sitting, Meghan and Harry will be on a raised platform. After the event, the Duke and Duchess will leave Albert Park to attend a reception and state dinner at the Grand Pacific Hotel this evening, hosted by the President of Fiji. It is believed Prince Harry will also deliver a speech there. The dinner will be followed by two days of engagements focused on the environment and education, before the Duke and Duchess head to Tonga. Prince Harry is carrying out the majority of his royal engagements on Fraser Island today without his wife Meghan Markle in tow, but during his first outing a local woman could not help but compliment the Duke on his pleasant appearance. The 34-year-old was greeted by the Butchola people and took part in a traditional welcome-to-country smoking ceremony on Fraser Island. Before he started his speech under the island's satiny trees in Pyle Valley, an indigenous woman named Marilyn Clark shouted at him, Oh, here we go. He's better looking in person. Another person added, I'll second that. Prince Harry looked a little awkward and blushed over the 74-year-old woman's compliment. After the unveiling of the plaque, which was previously presented by his father Prince Charles last year, Ms. Clark told News.co.o, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. When he came out I just thought he's better in the flesh. He better tell his wife about me. Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, is currently at the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort on the seventh day of her 16-day tour of Oceania. The resort boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy healthy spa, which seems perfect for the pregnant Duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. Kensington Palace said in a statement. After a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness, but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. According to reports, Prince Harry insisted his wife should rest as he revealed pregnancy takes its toll on the Duchess. The royal couple's first major tour coincided with the announcement of Meghan's pregnancy last week, with Kensington Palace confirming the Duchess is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Prince Harry also revealed to a well-wisher yesterday he would like the royal baby to be girl. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced last week that they are expecting their first child as they began their tour of Australia. After a taxing week of royal events, Prince Harry is encouraging Meghan to rest.
On Monday, October 15, royal baby fever struck once more as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced they are expecting their first child. The announcement came as the pair started their 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been married five months, wasting no time in starting a family. The royal baby is due to be born in the spring of 2019, and pregnancy combined with royal duties is taking its toll on the Duchess. This has meant Harry has set out for today's engagements on his own as mother-to-be Meghan rests. A royal source said, she wants to do everything, but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. This morning Harry travelled to Australia's Fraser Island and took part in a traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony. Afterwards, the Duke unveiled a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Gary. A more arrested Meghan later joined her husband for a walkabout on Fraser Island. She had spent this morning at their hotel resting for the day ahead. The first week of their tour had seen the couple travel across Australia and attend multiple events, as well as taking time to meet royal fans. Meghan was glowing as she arrived by car to meet her Harry, after a much-needed rest. She wore a striped dress by Reformation and brown leather lace-up sandals. The Duchess clutched her growing baby bump as she walked with her husband in Queensland. A royal aide said of Meghan, she isn't sick. She just had a tiring few days and we were concerned about the roads on the island which are incredibly bumpy and uncomfortable for anyone, let alone a pregnant woman. But the Duchess was very keen to rejoin the Duke at the last engagement of the day to greet the people of the island. The parents-to-be were given gifts including flowers and bears during the walkabout. Tomorrow Meghan and Harry's schedule sees them fly to Fiji's capital, Suva. According to a statement from the government of Fiji, the Duke and Duchess will be greeted by a guard of honor at the airport in Nazari. They will then attend a welcome ceremony known as Virkar Kravi Vakivanya. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are heading to the picturesque Fraser Island this afternoon on the seventh day of their landmark 16 day tour of Oceania and they are expected to stay in the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort, which will be perfect for the pregnant Duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a variety of engagements to attend and will be met upon their arrival by the traditional owners of Kuguri, the Butchola people and the Premier of Queensland. Their Royal Highnesses will also take part in a traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony and unveil a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Kukuri to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy. Fraser Island's rainforest is home to the Satinay trees which, known for their hardiness in water, were used to build the London docks in the 1930s. It has been reported the Duchess will not take part in all of her official duties during the day but will instead will rest in the fancy resort which boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy health spa. Kensington Palace said in a statement, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived at Hervey Bay around an hour ago in an Aussie RAF jet. The couple left the airport in separate cars as the Duchess is expected to spend the day resting in a resort on Fraser Island. Meghan and Harry have just arrived at Harvey Bay. The Duchess of Sussex stopped to say hello to well-wishers and she is now expected to board the Tasman Adventure, a local whale-watching operating boat that will bring her to the island. The Duke is taking a different boat as he needs to take a quicker route. Hundreds of royal fans have arrived early at the Riverhead's Wharf Barge Stop, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Suzanne Denton, from Riverhead's has been at the stop since 6.30 am. Ms Denton said she hopes to get a picture with Prince Harry. She added, I've followed Harry all of his life. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are currently flying to Fraser Island. A video shows the couple boarding the plane, 
Meghan is wearing a loose purple dress while Harry a navy blue shirt and a pair of camel chino. Prince Harry is expected to receive the traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony from the Butchola people before a plaque is unveiled to dedicate the popular holiday spots pristine rainforests to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Project. He will also visit Lake Mackenzie before meeting rangers from the National Park to learn about the picturesque island's unique animal and plant life. Fraser Island's hardwood trees were used to build the London docks in the 1930s due to their famed hardiness in water. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palazczuk will also hand the newly pregnant couple a handmade teddy bear from Tambo. <laughs>